Hi, and uh, welcome to SQL Power's screencast and demo of our Power Architect data modeling and data profiling tool. My name is John Kemp. I am a uh, principal consultant with uh, SQL Power and uh, one of a team of group of people that use the product quite frequently. And what I'd like to do over the next uh, few minutes is just basically walk you through uh, our product, uh, why we put it together, and uh, some of the key features. Power Architect is our open source data modeling tool. It utilizes a drag and drop interface uh, to allow you to um, uh, put together or build your, uh, your data models. Uh, it has a uh, reverse and forward engineering function so that you can take data models that already exist, uh, make any changes that you need to, and then uh, uh, promote them into either your existing uh, environment or into a new environment if you're building or, or, or migrating something across. Runs against all major databases, including Oracle, Postgres, MySQL, Sybase, DB2, and of course SQL Server. And the product was developed in Java, uh, so it's platform independent. We have users using it in uh, Windows environments, Linux environments, and in fact, the demo I'm running today is on a Mac. So it runs on pretty much anything that you can run a, a Java engine against. We developed uh, uh, Power Arch Architect, uh, you know, when we started to run into the uh, uh, costs and uh, and uh, difficulties with some of the commercial products that are out there and we we figured there had to be a, a more effective and efficient way of, uh, of doing data modeling. So uh, our development team uh, over time started with, uh, with developing some internal tools for us and we made the call to uh, open source Power Architect and, and uh, make it a community offering. Few of the key features that uh, that uh, come with Power Architect. It's database independent, so uh, you can utilize it with pretty much every database uh, out there. Uh, its uh, reverse and forward uh, engineering capabilities are really uh, quite uh, quite uh, intriguing and easy to use, and we'll demo those today. And you can auto-populate data from one database to another. And finally, uh, there's a, a data profiling capability that exists in the product. So I'm going to flip over to uh, Architect. And uh, when you start Architect, what you'll get is a uh, basically a blank screen like what I have here. Down the left, you'll see uh, our kind of our organizing area that tells you where you're working. And on the right is is a, the larger screen or the larger work area is what we call our playpen where you can design or modify data models. Um, in order to uh, to use it, what I'm going to do today is, is basically take an existing model, an existing data model from a Postgres database, uh, forward engineer it into a MySQL database and then make some changes to it. So what we need to do is, is add a source connection. So what I'm going to do is add my uh, local Postgres database where I'm keeping my, uh, my data. And in this case, we're using a, a uh, movies database that um, contains uh, information about movies, uh, who directed them, who starred in them, uh, and so on, uh, along with a list of theaters that show movies. So what I've done is I, by adding a connection, I've uh, opened a connection to my Postgres database. And what I want to do is take this, this movie's data model and bring it into my playpen. And it's as simple as just dragging the movie's database across to my playpen. And the, the system will bring that in. Um, once you have it in, you can rearrange the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, visual representation any way you want. Um, and to view it in a, a easier way. Additionally, there's a button here that will auto uh, lay out the, uh, the solution for you. So as you can see, I have this data model. It's a, uh, a Postgres database. And what I'm just going to do is actually forward engineer it into a MySQL database. So my forward engineer script, I'm going to say, hey, I want to put this into my local MySQL database. And I've actually created a database instance, call, instance called movies there. 
So all I have to do is, is select my connection, uh, indicate the, the DDL type that I want to work with, and then, uh, you know, where required in the case of MySQL, you need the database name. In the case of um, Postgres, it's going to want a schema name, and you fill in that information. What happens when you click OK is you actually get the uh, DDL create statements. So the standard SQL that's needed and uh, to, uh, to generate the tables. What you can do with this is you've got a number of choices and we're actually just going to execute against all of the, the statements that were created. But you could just as easily copy it and then uh, if you're using MySQL, open up a MySQL client or use another tool like uh, Navicat or Toad and actually run that within there. But uh, Architect gives you the capability to do that within the product. So I'm just going to click Execute. And as you'll see, it successfully executed 19 out of 19 statements. Uh, this includes the create tables, the alter tables, and any, uh, any key uh, generation or index generation that's required. So we'll go, OK, I can now save this, or I can just close it. So what I have at this point in time is I've generated this data model within my local MySQL database. And if I add my MySQL database into my, uh, into my uh, architect, I can see here are the, en the entries here. They've been added in. So that is how easy it is to just simply take a model and bring it across. So one of the things we can do is uh, copy table data. There's a function in here to allow me to do that. And some of the data in here is quite extensive, so I'm not going to do it all. But what we'll do is we'll just take a single table and move it across. So I'm going to take the theater's data and just move it across. You'll note there's this truncate destination table tick box. And typically, we suggest that you do uh, uh, tick this, because if you don't, um, depending on the uh, rules that you have set up in your data model, you can end up with quite a few uh, duplicate key errors, or uh, you know, if you have a unique key constraint, or uh, you can end up with duplicate data that you don't really want. So we'll truncate it and bring it across. And it very quickly copied the data from the table my, uh, from my uh, Postgres database table to my MySQL database table.